So as you know, pretty much every major golf brand has a golf ball out. Titleist, Callaway, Shrixon, TaylorMade, Bridgestone, and even Mizuno. But there's a major golf brand that does not currently have a golf ball out. But that wasn't always the case because Pink used to have a golf ball out and they're very rare and I've got three of them and we're gonna go play some golf with them. So check out those bad boys. Look at them Pink golf balls. Now these are super, 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 super rare because the last time these were made were in 1997. I had to scour eBay to find three in this pristine, brand new condition. And get this, I paid 25 pound per golf ball. Now I'm excited about playing some holes with these golf balls. As you can see, they're very unique looking with the two tone. That might help me hold more putts because I can line it up nice and straight. As we know, Ping make great golf equipment, great drivers that go a long way, superb irons, brilliant putters. Are the Ping golf balls gonna be just as good? Are they gonna go a long way? Are they gonna help me play much better? Or is there a reason why Ping stopped making golf balls? Are these gonna be terrible? Let's find out. Also, I've not quite decided just yet whether I should chop one in half. As you know from my ball reviews, I like the old cutter I don't know, these feel too precious. Stay tuned to the video to see if I chop one of these in half. Either way, I'm gonna play some golf. Now, I've got a favorite that I do wanna play golf with. Yes, the blue and red one. Let's play with this, play some golf. I'm excited about this one. Okay, par three to start. Oh my God, I might actually line it up with my target. Why not, eh? That looks so strange on a tee. <laughs> And what's mad about the golf ball? It's not as if it's like two golf balls stuck together. It's obviously just the way it's been painted completely differently. Right, I'm excited about this. I've been wanting to hit these golf balls for many, many years. Let's start off strong. A little par three up the hill. Oh, that sounded awesome. Unfortunately, it's not gone straight. It has headed into the bunker just left of the green. Two things there sounded really good and it was softer than I expected it to be. The other thing, and I'm not sure you'll pick this up on the video, it, it looked weird when it was flying through the air. Like the two, the two colors, like because I drew it, it was like spinning more to the left. Anyway, it was all right, it's a good start. Let's go up to the green. So as we're walking up to this bunker, I actually thought it'd gone in this bunker, but it's weirdly hard to see. Come on, look at this. Because it's finished blue side up. I mean, that is, I know it's, the grass is green and the ball is blue but it looks so dark, it's hard to see. If it was red side up, it might have been easier. Uh, either way, I've got a little chip from here. I'm going a little 60 degree. I'm intrigued to see how it's gonna react even on a short shot like this. Oh, look how it flies. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that rolling on itself. That is really weird. But again, I've got to compliment the feel. Softer than I expected. We're putting for par. Now I've not moved this golf ball and it looks like it's lined up almost exactly where I need to be aiming. I'm not going to move that golf ball. I'm going to trust it. Lap of the gods, hopefully that's lined it up correctly. Because it's the benefit with the two-tone golf ball. These golf balls came out as a little bit of a training aid. Because if I hit this correctly, that ball should roll perfectly. <laughs> maybe it wasn't lined up correctly. <laughs> or maybe I just didn't hit it very well. Oh, that was annoying. I thought, I thought I trusted the golf ball. I made a mistake with doing that. Now, this hole is interesting. There's water up the left-hand side. I do not want to hit this left and lose this rare golf ball. Then, the next hole is a par five. Let's see if we make birdie with a ping ball. And then after that, actually, it's the par three. Tell you what would be quite cool, hitting all three of them, seeing one if I can get a hole in one, obviously, naturally. But the ball that finishes furthest away, I think that's the one that we should chop up. I don't, I don't want to do it, I must admit, but I think it'll... I think we all want to see what's inside these pink golf balls. Okay, so I've lined up the golf ball just right of the green. 
playing safe away from the water. Now, normally, when I'm hitting it off this tee with, let's say, a Pro V1 that I normally play with, I am trying to go for the green. So, and it's, a, it's just short of 300 yards from here. So let's see if the ping ball can get close. But more importantly, we do not want to go left. Oh, baby, get up there. I tell you what, as soon as it gets about three quarters of the way in the air, I'll just lose it. Like the color just doesn't stand out at all. It started on a good line. I have no idea where it finished. Okay, here it is, front of the green. Let's have a quick look at that. It's almost like perfectly blue and red either side. So I'm gonna play a little lob wedge over the bunker. This will be interesting to see almost how the ball spins through the air because it's uh, the way that the paint's lying on this shot. That's crazy. <laughs> the way it's just rolling over <laughs> through the air, it's like, Blue and red, blue and red, blue and red, blue and red, blue and red. As soon as it lands, it obviously starts the top spin. It goes obviously red, blue, red, blue, red, blue as it rolls towards the hole. We're putting for birdie, everybody. And I'm gonna line it up this time. So here we go, birdie opportunity. It's a, it's a decent one. I'm gonna take advantage of the two tone this time and properly line this up with the red and the blue. Now this is a fairly straight putt. Look how it rolls. It was literally, Perfect. Birdie. We can make birdie with the ping ball. Next hole, could we even make eagle? I'm really enjoying this. I'm, li I'm liking this golf ball a lot, considering it's over 20 years old. Because it, it start, these golf balls started production in 1977 and finished in 1997. So it's somewhere in that range, age range. It's oh, plus over 20 years old comfortably. It's performing pretty well still, considering. I like it. I'm, su I'm surprised ping don't bring a golf ball out because it's such a popular brand. Like so many people have ping golf clubs. Are they missing a trick maybe not bringing out a golf ball? Or did it completely flop and did they try and do something different it didn't work? Which might have been this. I like it. Either way, par five coming up and it's not gonna be a breeze this one because there's still trouble. Trees left and right. Which again, if this goes in the trees, I think it's gonna be hard to find unless it finishes red side up. And then further down there's water all down the left side of this hole. Requires a good tee shot, then requires a really good second shot still. Oh, blocked it miles right. <laughs> I was scared of finding the trees. Well, the good news is I'm not in the trees because there's no trees on the next fairway. Let's go and find it over there. That is miles offline. <laughs> um, I didn't want to lose it. And the benefit is when you hit it so far offline, you find other holes as such here. I'm on a completely different hole. Uh, so I'm gonna play it back towards the fairway. I would have loved to have gone for it from the green from here, but I'm miles away. I'm like 270 odd yards away. And there's, as I mentioned, there's all water down the left-hand side. So I'm gonna hit a wedge back onto the fairway and probably have like a nine iron left into the green. I can't afford to lose it. We should be all right there. It's not in the water. Go on, travel a bit, get a good kick. So that ball hitting the nate iron, that probably carried about 175 yards. It seemed to go a mile then. I'm at the back of the green, delicate little chip now. This is still for birdie but it's a nasty little shot. The advantage, the ball is lined up to the hole, luckily. Simmer, simmer, simmer. Oh, really hard shot from there. Really hard, I've left myself a long par putt now. Oh, he's boxed it. Makes a par. Not the conventional way, but I'll take it. So we're up to the par three next, and my cutters are awaiting to chop one of these pin golf balls in half, but which one? I'm intrigued to see what they're going to look like inside. So easiest way, the one that finishes furthest away from the flag is the one I'm going to chop in half. I've enjoyed playing with this. It's better than I expected. Certainly for one, the amount of years it's been out for, 20 odd years obviously, and sat around doing nothing. And two, obviously it's a ping golf ball. I didn't know what to expect. I'd like to see ping bring out golf balls again, I would. It could do a good job. Either way, 
Can we make one? Can we hold one? And which one are we going to chop in half? Okay, random choice. I'm going to go with pink and teal first, blue and red next, and then purple and teal last. Okay, I've lined it up. This is um, it's one from my least favourite colour of the golf balls. I'm going to hit a wedge into this green. Come on. Oh, I've chunked it. I didn't hit it well enough. Oh! <laughs> I had no idea where that was going to finish and it's incredibly hard to see. That is crazy. For a minute there, I had no idea where it finished, but because it's finished teal side facing towards us, it's so hard to see. It's on the green and it's actually okay. Next one, blue and red. Okay, blue and red next. I'm actually going to try a different tactic. I'm not going to line it up to the target. I'm going to line it up basically to me. So I'm hitting the red side of the golf ball this time a better hit it's tracking towards the flag oh that's nice again so hard to see on the green but it's in line with the flag definitely the closest so far it's my boy that one the red and blue one i like i've got a little soft spot for it so i'm glad i don't have to chop that one in half last one the purple and teal i'm gonna go with the same tactic hit the purple side of the golf ball gonna have to travel a little bit Oh my, these balls are ridiculously hard to see. That is finished, right of the flag, maybe just past pin high. Let's get down there and get a proper reading on which one's the furthest away. Right, getting up on the green, and this is really the first time I've had a clear view of all three balls. This one is by far the closest, my red and blue one. I'm just gonna see if I can quickly knock this one in for birdie. Look how it rolls, I mean it's just, oh, that was in. I'm going to I'm going to put that away. That that's that one is safe. And then between these two looks like it was this one. The first one I hit, the pink and teal ball. Let's chop it in half. So here we go. Um collectors around the world will be cringing at this, but it's got to be done. I want to see what's inside it. I'm actually going to go against the line and just try and keep the ping in there. Okay, let's go. Let's see what's inside this. I'm excited to see. I've enjoyed testing these balls. I have. Oh, oh, this is uh, different to what I expected. There's a bit of elastic band in there. Oh, it's like old school. No way. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's proper. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's like proper elastic band with the core. This is going to just do its magic. I'm almost like, tell you what, I just come out of that. <laughs> you know what that didn't quite go to plan look at that <laughs> ah, what a finish guys thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video that is what's inside the ping two tone ball i'll see you next time that was awesome didn't expect that and i just finished off the chop look at that inside what's mad the inside of the cover is the same as the outside that's crazy anyway thought i'd add that in <laughs>